Hey, did you know Hyplet Store makes the coolest merchandise just for you? Place your order today as everything is 50% off and get completely free shipping no matter where you are. Hypletstore.com, there's a bit of everything for everyone. I'd like to ask you to leave a like on this video and join that notification squad by hitting the subscribe button. Also comment down below when you do so and we'll do our best to reply to as many of you as we possibly can. The Pawn Stars is one of the longest running reality shows on television, having filmed more than 500 episodes since 2009. The premise is simple, the Harrison family owns a world famous gold and silver pawn shop in Las Vegas, Nevada, and in every episode people come to sell or pawn distinctive historical items whose authenticity and value is estimated by outside experts before the pawn shop owners and employees negotiate whether or not to strike a deal with the customers. That plus some antics and banter between the cast adds up to the History Channel's most popular and profitable show, bringing in a few million dollars per episode for the network. As a result, the show's stars have seen quite a boost in pay over the years, so stay tuned if you want to find out how much the Paw Stars as well as some of their regular experts really make. You might know that it is no coincidence that the Harrisons always have an expert at the ready whenever they need an item of praise and that these very experts are not actually friends of the shop as viewers are led to believe. Although the show's main cast have really become friends with most of them over the years, the experts were originally hired onto the show by the producers as well. But they are not paid for their services and lend their expertise to the Pawn Stars to help promote their own businesses. This may sound cheap of the show's producers, but you can count on the fact that the experts and their businesses have benefited greatly by appearing on the show. Danny Coker, for instance, was a regular expert in Pawn Stars before he started appearing in the show's third spin-off series called Counting Cars. The show follows the daily activities at Counts Customs, an automobile restoration and customization company owned and operated by Danny Coker. While it's unknown how much Coker earns per episode of the show, his net worth is estimated to be roughly between 10 and 15 million dollars, so he has obviously benefited greatly from appearing as an expert on the Harrison's show. Jeremy Brown became a recurring expert on Paw Stars in 2011, and since then the business of his Las Vegas-based sports memorabilia shop has gone through the roof, or rather two roofs. Due to the great increase of business that followed his appearance on the popular show, Brown had to move his ultimate sports car into memorabilia shop from a strip mall to a space twice as big on the outskirts of Las Vegas, not far from the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop. Although he doesn't get paid by the show for appraising baseball cards, Super Bowl rings, game worm uniforms and the like, Brown stated that the show's national exposure has done wonders for our shop. Six days a week, tour buses on the Paw Stars circuit unload passengers right in front of his shop and according to Brown, they have made some customers for life from these tours. Rebecca Romney is pretty much the definition of a bibliophile. Easily the favorite expert among the fans, she has degrees in linguistics and classical studies with a minor in philosophy and can read English, French, Japanese, Ancient Greek, Latin and Old English. She has been working at Beaumont Rare Books in Las Vegas since 2007 and became the manager in 2010. Since Pawn Stars' fourth season, she has been lending her expertise to the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop and became a regular appraiser on the show, appearing in about 60 episodes. As the manager of the Las Vegas Gallery of Beaumont Rare Books, Romney got the call whenever someone walked into the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop with a dusty old book, and business at the gallery increased significantly after her first appearance on the show in 2011. However, despite the fame Romney has gained from being on the show, she constantly tried to draw the attention back to the books by saying, the books are great, I don't know why we're talking about me. In fact, she loves books so much that she would interrupt filming on the Paw Stars set if people didn't handle the rare books properly. In 2015, she moved from Las Vegas to Philadelphia to oversee the central operation of Beaumont's rare books department, but left the company just a year later in order to pursue her own projects, such as a podcast called Bibliocast, which she produces with her husband. Another Paw Stars regular is autograph expert Steve Grad, who started his professional career in radio and later majored in broadcast journalism at Columbia. He worked as an anchor for seven years, including at a sporting news radio station. His job increased his interest in sports history and he started collecting autographs, which eventually led him to leave the radio and become a professional appraiser and autograph certifier, who is now one of the top autograph experts in the world. Over the course of 15 years, Grad built the PSA-DNA authentication services, which saw a 15-20% increase in sales following his appearance on the History Channel show. The business is actually based in Newport Beach, California, but Grad jumps on a plane whenever the Paw Stars producers call him to appear on the show. 
The lead autograph authenticator of the show has stated that he was never recognized while working on the radio, but since appearing on Pawn Stars, he gets stopped by fans a couple of times a day. Greg Gottlieb is a retired American military man who served in the forces before retiring to spend his time dealing with military antiques. He first appeared on Pawn Stars in the episode Family Feud of Season 6 and has since become one of the show's regular experts. Gottlieb has also made appearances as a military expert advisor in Auction Hunter, a reality TV show by Spike TV and is known to collect military antiques, which he often sells in public auctions. While it is not known how much Gottlieb has earned with his television appearances, it is estimated that his net worth is between 6 and 7 million dollars, so he has clearly made a fortune from lending his expertise to the Pawn Stars. One of the most popular Pawn Stars experts is Mark the Beard of Knowledge Hall Patton, who has also appeared in more episodes of the show than any of the others. He was so fascinated by history and museums as a child that he started creating museum displays in his home for friends and family at the tender age of 8. He later earned a degree in museum administration before coming to Las Vegas with the dream of drawing people away from the strip and into his museum, which didn't nearly work as well as he'd hoped, that is, until he began regularly appearing on History Channel's most popular reality series in 2009. Rick has described Hall Patton as the guy who knows so much stuff he must have a Xerox machine inside his eyeballs. That, combined with his huge beard, is how he earned his nickname the Beard of Knowledge. Of course, even Hall Patton doesn't know everything, but has stated that he is always ready to perform a detailed research to update his knowledge. Since he started appearing on the show as an expert, the Clark County Museum System in Henderson, Nevada, which he administrates, has seen the attendance increase by 70%, even though it is about a half-hour drive from downtown. Hall Patton still teaches and educates people on any era of history and has described himself as an omnivore regarding learning about history, which is probably why he has a collection of more than 20,000 history books at his home. After leaving high school in his junior year, the old man started driving a school bus when he was 14 and has come a long way since. After opening the gold and silver pawn shop in 1989, along with his son, the Harrisons started filming their reality TV show and the business increased and changed the pawn shop into more of a tourist attraction, which means the old man and his co-stars don't have to and are actually not even allowed to work the counter anymore. According to various online sources, the old man's son Rick now makes around $50,000 per episode of their reality TV show which debuted in 2009. Considering that there are anywhere between 25 to 50 plus episodes per season, the pawn shop co-owner used to have a salary of over $400,000 per season, which adds up to 6 million in earnings from the TV show alone. Although Harrison Sr.'s appearances in Pawn Stars have become less and less in recent years on account of some health issues, it is estimated that the old man has a net worth of about $5 million. The old man's grandson Corey basically grew up in the gold and silver pawn shop and started helping out when he was only 9 years old. After graduating high school, Big House tried his hands at being an electrician and later worked as a construction worker as well as in a sawmill before eventually realizing that his father's and grandfather's pawn shop was his future as well. After threatening to leave the shop if he didn't receive ownership equity in the company during the sixth season of Pawn Stars, Rick gave in and offered Corey 5% stake in the pawn shop. Like his father, he now earns $30,000 per episode of the show and also gets paid more than a thousand bucks for personal appearances in clubs around Las Vegas. According to online sources, Corey has an estimated net worth of around $5 million as of 2018. Despite his troubles with the law, Chumley is by far the most popular pawn star and more and more tourists buy his merchandise than that of any of the other three. But he wasn't actually cast on the show at first, as it was originally supposed to be a family gig until the producers decided to look for a fourth cast member. As Sham Lee put it, there was 10 other employees in the shop and they were looking for a fourth person to put in the show, and I thought to myself, well, I've known these guys my whole life. We have good camaraderie and I'm just going to be funny and joke with them like we would normally do, and not get nervous in front of the cameras, and it kind of worked out. But when he says kind of worked out, he means that he has since become a celebrity as well as a multi-millionaire and possibly the most hated person among the other employees of the shop. Although Chumley always seems to be the goofy one on Pawn Stars, he is actually a smart businessman whose company sells his own merchandise and personal appearances since he is the show's fan favorite and gets a lot of offers. 
In fact, Chumley was the first of the series cast to brand himself, and his boss Rick then bought into the business so he could have a share in the profits by selling the Chumley merchandise in the gold and silver pawn shop. Together with his brother Sage, Corey's childhood friend also opened a candy shop called Chumley's Candy on the boulevard, right across the plaza from the Harrison's pawn shop. His earnings from all these business ventures, along with the $25,000 he earns per episode of Pawn Stars, mean that Chumley is believed to have a net worth of around $5 million. After leaving school in 10th grade to pursue his $2,000 a week business of selling fake Gucci bags, Rick co-owned the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop in 1989 and, like his father, has come a long way since. By 2005, he and his father started loaning out about $3 million annually, which translated to approximately $700,000 in terms of interest income. After years of unsuccessfully pitching the idea of a reality show about the shop, it was finally picked up by the History Channel in 2009. Two years later, Pawstars had the highest ratings on the network and has maintained the position ever since. According to various online sources, Rick now makes around $30,000 per episode of the reality show as he is the biggest shareholder and as we already said, considering that there are anywhere from 25 to 50 plus episodes per season, the pawn shop co-owner has a salary of around $1 million per season from the show alone. Seeing how many other things Rick has going on, it is estimated that as of 2018, his net worth is about 8 to 10 million dollars and it is likely to increase even more over the next few years, as it doesn't look like Paul Stars will be cancelled anytime soon and Rick will probably come up with a bunch of new ideas to keep him busy. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Also don't forget to turn that post notification bell on so you never miss our uploads. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.